Syed Sumail Hassan or we know as Sumail, born February 13, 1999 is a Pakistani-American Dota 2 player. Sumail was born in Karachi, Pakistan. Sumail grew up with his six siblings, and one of them, Yawar Hassan, is also a Dota 2 pro player. While most eight-year-old children were playing tag and learning to read, Sumail began playing Dota. However, there were no gaming resources available in Pakistan, and Sumail's family couldn't afford to buy a computer. Instead, he had to go to the internet cafe, where he played almost every day with his cousin and friend. One day, Sumail didn't even have the money to go to an internet cafe. Due to his addiction and enjoyment of Dota, he was even willing to sell his bicycle. When his family moved from Pakistan to Rosemont, Illinois. Three days after he arrived to the United States he bought a computer, no food no drink only the computer for 18 hours. He began playing in the North American Elite League. Sumail quickly became the highest rated player in the in-house league, establishing himself as one of the best upcoming talents in the North American scene. Suck it's dead! <laughs> oh, 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 he's able to make one. it out. Again. Uh oh, Snive Simal says so. Special delivery from the Mr. Sumail. And, uh, His play was so impressive that Universe pushed for EG to recruit him in January 2015. Evil Geniuses was an American esport flagship franchise that was quite big at that time. Sumail is on a team with Universe, Fear, PPD, and AUI 2000. The spot in question was left vacant by Team Secret's drama ridden acquisition of Zai and Arteezy. Arteezy was not only a role model to Sumail but also one of the only mid laners he considered to surpass him in skill. Sumail made his LAN debut at the Dota 2 League Season 5 Finals, in Las Vegas on January 6, 2015, the team performed poorly at the event, partly due to Sumail's lackluster performance. Critics began to question whether he deserved a roster spot on a team like Evil Geniuses. Sumail would get a chance to redeem himself as EG participated in the Dota 2 Asia Championships. EG's captain, PPD, entered the tournament with a focus on drafting around Sumail to ensure he was comfortable in-game. This approach proved to be quite successful. In his first match of the tournament, Sumail introduced his Yules on Shadow Fiend build, which quickly became part of the meta for the event. Fear. Oh, what is that? The mech of the last thing Sumail was not going to matter because Echo Time is there. Fear! Actually, no, that was. Yeah, Fear gets destroyed. Holy jeez, that finger of death. Uh, I want to say yes. I mean, I don't, think, I don't see there's anything else on it. No, not really. It's a pretty popular build in Juggernaut regardless because the stats are really good as well, but. Uh oh, smoke by EG. They really know that Rosh is being taken out. He's at half health. I don't think they're gonna finish him in time without EG finding out. Roar, applied to Fenrir, who gets destroyed right off the bat. Requiem Soul destroys EO as well. Look at these people just drop like nothing else. And we have a full smoke gank here for you know Gaming. exactly what's going on. Find the bear. Gonna find Sumail first. There's the initiation. He uses himself and dodges the counter as a result. Roar on top of Ice Ice Ice. Requiem of Souls doesn't do that much damage, but of course the minus damage reduction is a pretty big deal. Black pops and DP. The Echo Slam is used as well. Ice 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 is gonna be the first casualty along with the Juggernaut that's two dead just like that. EG in really prime position to take this fight and perhaps the game. Three dead, four dead, Vici Gaming, all they're left with is Wisp and that's the GG. Sumail even defeated Team Secret, and this victory served as Sumail's proof that he was not only worthy but also an excellent fit for EG. Sniper's comrade in arms, actually he forced has himself now, up the cliff, he will live to see another day, but this Never mind. <laughs> the finger of death just decimates him. Arteezy trying to make the last stand for Secret. S4 as well. The tier 4 tower, only one remains, and now the Ancient is all alone with the buildings. And Arteezy will drop. That's the Aegis, though. He'll come back online very shortly. Fear. Everybody taking the Ice Blast damage. This is pretty big for Secret. S4 stuck in the middle of everybody. Gets the person to call out. Culling play will not proc, however. Puppy. Going down to the split shot of fear, the double kill. This is a disaster. Secret looks to be out of DAC 2015. EG will find their way in the grand finals. In the finals, Sumail established himself as one of the best mid players in the world with his stellar play. His most notable performance of the tournament occurred in game three of the finals, where he found himself with a 0 3 0 score on Storm Spirit before the three minute mark. 
Undeterred by the poor start, Sumail quickly took control of the game and led his team to victory, finishing with a score of 17-7-11. Can get a can get a kill us. Oh, they're, they're gonna lose the. Oh my God! Good awareness from Sumail. Possibly gonna cost might. him his life, though, man. He's playing this perfect. Has the boots, but just a bit too slow to get him. No, oh, not Kenny. so sure. Still chasing, but Earthshaker come into position. Now they're gonna have a fissure. Is it in time? No. One raise, two raise. They get the kill again. Yes, he'll be able to retreat. Now they're going to mid again. Looks like the Shaman is third time the char as well. Well, first, second war. Sumail trying to run in, dodge that last raise. It's not gonna happen. FY and Fenrir just wrecking Sumail mid. FY has been all over the place. It's, there's gonna be a little pressure towards the snake, but rotating in though is your Earthshaker. Uh, mid like lane Sumail and Sumail caught out. He got a kill. Let's tower. Sure. But fear gonna trade, so it's only a one for one tower. So they go for two is the real question. They get the hex off on Universe. Sumail zipping into the cogs, but they have no lockdown. That Zeus ulti coming out. Massive damage. Now the Omni Slash not gonna get blown up. It's three dead for Vici. They're in danger here. Super needs to turn it. He tries to go into Universe. Blade Fury working him in the black hole. It's gonna be five. EG again. Outmaneuver Ibichi Gaming in the clutch, a triple for Subail on the Shadow Fiend, and EG don't really care, they keep on pushing, confident in their ability to take this rack. They leave Subail up front, he'll lay into the buildings, and nobody jumping him. Unless they go soon, he's gonna be the one who initiates, he jumps in right onto Fenrir, blowing him up with fear at his side, the Omni Slash gets it done. Now, Subail focusing back on buildings, Black will try to lay into fear, but he just doesn't have the firepower to bring him down quickly enough, and now the Black Hole! Where's that hook shot? It's not coming from Ice Ice Ice. There's no way to stop this. They lose now the Terrorblade hook shot. Only popping the Aegis. AUI having already black hole. What does it really matter if you come off? And now the storm cleanup might begin. FY next on the list. It's three dead. It might be four. Buyback coming out from the FY Shaman. But he's got no wards. Oh, is it even worth it? Super's bought back, FY's bought back, and still they keep on racing it. Do they get the bash on Super? Yes, they do. It's a dieback on the channel feed. He'll pop as well. Ice, 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 baby, next to Mel. No mercy now. On to FY. No, a will pass by him for Ice, 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 and he'll back off for the Shaman. Sumail's breakout performance at DAC led to widespread recognition as a young prodigy in both the Chinese and Western Dota scenes and secured his reputation as one of the best Storm Spirit players. The International 2015 was hosted in Seattle. Sumail and EG entered the International 2015 as one of the two favorites, alongside Team Secret. EG had finished second behind Secret at each of the previous two LAN tournaments, the Summit 3 and ESL 1 Frankfurt 2015. The International 2015 was the place where Sumail proved that he was truly serious about Dota 2. All his dedication and sacrifices were rewarded. Sumail, who had been with EG for only seven months, faced experienced teams in the International 2015. Nevertheless, Sumail dominated the group stage, earning a spot in the upper bracket. Team Secret, their significant obstacle, lost in the lower bracket round 3, that makes the path for Sumail even smoother. He needs to be careful. He's gonna get flipped by the whole response and the impact then locked inside the shot. This time though Dazzle will be here, turning on the constraint. They have to take Ben and there it is. They keep the shallow grave on him. He is ticking down in a moment of Samael. Then just here he takes. They turn for one more stun, but it's still a double kill for Samael. Lose Swindle Mount. Yeah, they gotta lose more. Samael comes up. Z-Free can't get close enough to it. Swindle Mount's controlled by the walrus punch. Still trying to stun out of here. Z-Free has to use the shallow grave on himself. Samael just hanging around so he can slide a fist him down. Able to do so at the same time as window will drop EG momentum got more as now Spirit jump in again. He's got five fifth series chains, gets the timing for it. Samel actually stops to buy while he's looking down. The snowball comes in from Universe with a perfect child positioning. But Timbersaw looking for some revenge. Samel doesn't have any spirits remaining at the moment, so he can't help out that way. But PPD, the frostbite's gonna be there. Samel again with a spirit jump down, side of fifth series chain. He's gonna get the kill on Sven. Boomy is here, but Samel again, no spirits, but 14 more chance of the shards. The perfect positioning again from Universe. Complexity being followed up inside this.
day. I don't know if they can have the same mindset about game one with this fight that have been around, but EG is so powerful right now. They'll kill on every single player. Surprisingly, he continued to dominate the upper bracket even though he eventually had to descend to the lower bracket after losing to Team CDEC. He's coming into the tier one, he knows that they want to fight here. Shiki moving in, we'll find the Yules onto Aoi here. They're going to set this up for the stun. Aoi is going to try and see if he weighs it enough to charge away. He's not even going to get the chance to do so. Now with the wall, point on easy fear. They're going to look for more. Laguna Blade as well, Razor dropping low. We'll get the mech off, the wall's being dropped, but it doesn't matter. Fear's going to go down. Universe is going to look to surge himself away, but aggressive and Q2, acing it down with the Diffusal Blade. Tony White comes out, but it doesn't matter. Universe to fall. PPT just happened to get himself out of there with some mail. The track on some mail. They're going to continue to chase this down. They've got the vision on the BBD here with the track out as well. BBD in trouble. They'll get themselves a fourth kill. Some mail. The only last man standing there for each other. After a 2 0 defeat against CDEC in the lower bracket final, Sumail managed to win the game against Team LGD, a Chinese team that was also as strong as CDEC. Right now. That is how farmed AUI 2000 is. Lesh actually finishes that full cycle. There's the fight. rocket. They, they hit him up on the end. Fight. And it's Universe with the initiation. Yao, four stamping himself away. Almost dies to blow out of his head. Sumail just going insane. Charging it on the baby. He's stunned. Held in place. They made up the BKB. Universe gets pulled very far back. He's going to try to retreat. The Echo's there. But Sumail's embrace. Now, the Wizards come. GG, and I don't, I don't know how LGD can hold this next round of Assault off. I, I mean, what can they even do at this point? They don't have the Echo, the Shadow Fiend bought out before the fight, he's gonna go on MM1 right now. No time to think about it, MMY getting nuked to smithereens, El Sumel, and Universe almost killing him off. He frantically retreats, he will survive for now. Universe is gonna be fishing for a hook, but he doesn't need the kill. They got their ass, and now he's gonna get him anyway! This victory brought Sumail to the grand final, where he had to face Team CDEC again. C Deck Gaming versus Evil Geniuses. Grand Finals. In this rematch, Sumail appeared to dominate with an aggressive playstyle. No, he's not alone. Fear waiting on the hillside. Now he's going to come down. Aggressive goes into the doppelganger with a call down. Nice done. But they're in the middle of the call down. No way see the Guan to beat. They're going to take two again. This time it's over on Aoi. The support is important. That's not a healthy place to be. Universe fighting with the jungle at the same time. TL may not let this go unpunished. Universe wants to run away, but it's not going to happen until Storm. Samal's in. He gets the organ of the PL. It looks like an instant kill for Universe, and now it's going to be a double kill for Samal. It's a, it's a difficult question to answer because BKB definitely oh, wait a second. Long jump up, found two. Sans is a spirit breaker, so we can kill off one. In comes Universe, cancelling the TB out. It's a two for. To actually go for this, they're gonna charge in. Some mail being pushed back and awkward off. They're gonna turn around, but now Universe looks on in some mail. Almost dead, he is dead. Where's your buyback? Here she comes. The team beats the team one towers. Two heroes down already. This could be it. The money will let EG win this fight. They kind of want it anyway with the amount of damage the fear has. Storm jumping all the way back up again. They find aggressive. Queen of Pain, the only one up. It fell in the last hope, and it was. EG will take game one. Sumail only lost in Game 2, but dominated once again in Game 3. In the last bit of damage, it can cut some shuffle, slow down the massage, and Samal going in very deep, a double searing chain, moving around as EG, Samal picking up a double kill, they move in deeper as well, Q's on the run out here, the slider fist, they're getting rid of at least one of the familiars, and the team is the fake slider fist trying to keep it back, in comes aggressive, triggers the BKB, PPD, already with the tombstone down, they may not have enough of an opening, in fact maybe they will, they found aggressive locked inside the cogs, well over on the side, Fear is keeping the massage out, and in the back, Trying to go for the wall, they get it perfectly. With Shiggy Pulse over, they need more damage. Samael gets a side of fist off. He's so low on life, but now a little bit more. They can't even get him out. There's more damage coming in with Oshrak. So low on life, aggressive turns on the fight going up here. The stuns are there. PPD back to front line, trying to remove that life away from the slug. 
and they keep going. The seal is on him. He can't bounce away. They lock him inside the cops. The grab him is down. Huge kill. Shiki no longer hiding in the trees. It's not safe there. The line is back to base and so is XC. A huge fight for EG. He will also be thrown down by that concussive shot. Locked inside the cops in the middle of the river. He needs a path to freedom. It just doesn't exist. It's a Samal. He even goes in deeper on the back of Shiki. The sun will be available. They back him back in. There's still the defensive spirits available. Side of fist and maybe there is enough damage. Aggressive. Siri chained up. They need the damage. Four stop away. Aggressive. Get the to live. X is a huge trouble. Try to run himself out of the cops. Four stop down the line. And this is real trouble right now for CDEC. Shiki down in the tree line as well. There are no able to really fight the vacuum wall. At the, as a matter of fact, he probably holds the wall too long there and ends up getting a, a pretty mediocre one when the fight is over. Lion never gets a spell off. Gets In game four, Sumail, with his signature Storm Spirit, led EG to a significant advantage in terms of the score. All right, more lances, just keeping vision on fear. They jump in, there's your curse to Mel, going in deep over on Wyvern. He's already used his ability, but here comes your call that dragon like open extra stuff, the keeping universe out. No way for the form in fact, he's actually gonna push it back out with the comp. Universe will drop, and maybe even one after it's gonna be a double kill for Samel. The song of the siren allowing EG to reset Samel, not with a great amount of mana, but a bought time for the Orca to come back on cooldown. They can control the clockwork. He will take a fall. And the most memorable moment in Dota history occurred the six million dollar Echo Slam. Are moving in there now. I don't think EG are interested in contesting this 4 and 5, but maybe they can delay it long enough for it to be a 5 on 5 if they Ice Blast and Fissure properly. There is no uh, hook shot. They're all together. PPT, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dodge! Here from Universe, it's a disaster! CDC, they're gonna get wiped from the face of the end, the path from Aggressive, he'll jump out, but the Logo combo perfectly hits from Evil Geniuses, and now they will take Roshan. Samal is back, they'll get the Angus of the Immortal! Yeah, they don't even need to buy time. When they have superior vision and CDC... They're moving forward with a hookshot in the eyes! Blast! Perfect on Cena! They keep the battle going! Samal might be low on mana! They need to keep controlling Fear CDC! If they want to try and win this game, the Fear fights more! He's actually been trapped under curse, holding him here for now! DK will fight back in the dragon back the clockwork with a vision starter! CDEC are running out of heroes, aggressive, wants to come out and find some kind of collateral kills. But EG are turning tail and running for now. Universe is ready to turn. He's got Echo Slam up. He just needs his bling. They're going to come back up. Call out aggressive. The call down. The perfect position. That's your Echo Slam. Aggressive. Locked in position right now. He's going to embrace up by the way. The wire of a few moving forward as well. The DK about to drop. Aggressive on Soul Survivor. CDEC. It looks troublesome. It looks really, really bad for them. Aggressive on the run. Universe right behind him. They keep running out. But GG one play. Sumail and EG finally secured their first win at the International 2015. What's even more remarkable is that Sumail won TI at the age of 16, making him the youngest player to achieve this feat. Sumail hadn't even been with EG for one year, and all his dedication paid off. Just take the game seriously, don't play for fun, and if, if, you, if you think, deep down if you think that you are good, then continue, if not, then just leave the game, it's not for noobs. <laughs> okay. A surprising move was made by EG when they replaced AUI 2000 with RTZ. This led to Fear, who was previously a carry, having to play support. The consequence was Team EG falling apart, evident from their defeat in the first round at ESL 1 New York 2015. Just some will be enough of initiation for no one to finish this. Here's Sonic Waves off cooldown again, with a double damage, and there it is, GG, under 30 minutes! But after some time adapting, Team EG started to stabilize again. Sumail and EG participated in several Dota 2 majors, consistently finishing in second or third place, which is not a bad thing. At the Frankfurt Major 2015 Sumail was in third place, after losing to Team OG. But EG are still hunting, they're gonna lead with the Necro 3 here, OG are smoked. 
This could get ugly for No Tail. He's down in an awkward position. That initial board slow comes out. The Roar's there to follow it up. Are they going to commit a curse for this as well? There's the snowball save. Crit's looking to turn it. Miracle runs in. He gets the stun up here. But he's yulsed up. He's kept out of the fight. Arteez, he's going to try to lock him down. The Echo, though. Hits Mil. He's dying so fast. It hits Mil on the charge. Through it. Arteez, he gets chopped up. He's down for the count. No buyback for 100. Universe could be next. GG. In 2016, with the same roster, Sumail competed in the Shanghai Major. They finished in third place after losing against Team Liquid. How hard EG is on tilt when something like that happens. And now Team Liquid, they just go up. They look to force it. They can sniff it. They got fear. Caught out with the Mahomes. There it goes. You've lost everything. EG, there really isn't a hope anymore. Even Universe burning it out. There it is. Team Liquid, they will take it. Two but after the Dota Pit League season for tournament, Team EG split, even though they won second place, RTZ left with Universe and AUI 2000 returned to EG again with Boba who was still playing at that time. The sudden roster change resulted in Sumail and EG suffering another defeat at the Manila Major 2016. Sumail was eliminated from the tournament on the first day of the lower bracket round one. It's not an easy Phoenix to bring down. Yang with a swing and a miss, a rare whiff there on the crush, but no no moves in anyway. And fear melts and comes in late. The gem has now hit the deck and they turn on the PPD, beating away at him. They get off the bash, they get the kill. AUI 2000 gonna be next, but before he drops it, Sumail, three dead, make it four. It's gonna be a wipe and end gets the rampage. After this bitter defeat, Sumail, along with the new EG roster, returned to the pinnacle of all Dota 2 tournaments, the International 2016, EG changed their roster structure again by bringing Universe back and releasing AUI 2000. They also recruited Zai to play position 4. EG managed to qualify and secure the spot in the upper bracket. Although they lost and dropped to the lower bracket after facing Wings Gaming, who at that time were champions of TI 2016, they had to settle for coming in third place after losing to Digital Chaos. However, Sumail delivered an amazing performance and became the first team to successfully come back from Mega Creep at the TI event. What's even crazier is that Sumail and his team used the built Dagon Ethereal Blade. They won the 70 minute game against Team L. Chipping away, the blip is up, now the Dagon start coming in as Ice 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 revives. EG, what are they looking for? He initiates and comes down on a fear. Refresher activated by Old 11. Not going to get the chance for a second time. Lamar is going to get blown up inside the corner sphere. He's down and out. Evil Genius is still by up. But here comes Dead on these blacks. Bouncing around with a shattered even. Hoping to be able to go on his eye, but an arrow! Oh my god! The mail just nailed him, but he still managed to get himself away. And to put himself away. Universe said he's back on it. I'm going to get out of the He's dead in the ball! EG might be able to do that. Evil Genius is their whole thing! Evil geniuses, they can't end this game yet. They're gonna try though. Evil, can they hold EG? Confident they can. Here's coming up as well. The tier four being beat, not in the game. The two four, the man is hard to go on the fan bear. No piano, go bring it on his mind. The dagger first. He'll take him out. He holds the fan bear by the back. The tier four, the throw going down. The throw down to MVP. He holds the fan After TI 2016, the old players of EG, PPD and Fear, decided to retire. Fear, however, remained with the team as a coach. EG then recruited Crit to fill the position of captain and support, while RTZ returned to fill the carry position, with this new team composition, EG's performance can be considered quite good, although it is less stable. Sumail still managed to win several Tier 1 tournaments, such as Dota Pit League Season 5 and the Manila Masters, even though he did not secure a victory in any majors in 2017. Spotted there as well, there's the chains. No follow up just yet, the blinding light is going to force EG back Down. with no mana on the- Oh, it's oh, the They stun it! Stills the Aegis, takes it away from the clutches of NP! However, they displayed their worst performance at TI 2017, only securing the 9th 12th position. Freely fly, resolution, there go the team four towers, plus taken out of the fight for the moment, it's 
going down 2700. They find the wide win as well. It looks over for EG and it is over. Team Empire will 2 0. Sumail is known for his extremely confident gameplay and a persona that may come across as a bit arrogant, leading to some fans disliking him. Nevertheless, Sumail is indeed the king of mid, often dominating the lane in his own way. Following a defeat, Sumail changed roles, attempting to fill the off-lane position, but the results were not satisfactory. It was only after the ESL 1 Birmingham event that Team EG recruited Fly and S4, allowing Sumail, the king, to return to the mid lane. The international aide arrived, and with his cocky and confident style, Sumail managed to qualify and secure a spot in the upper bracket. What's your motivation? Uh, money. Money? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Everyone else is going to tell you uh, they're playing because they're super passionate. Yeah. They love the game. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, I mean, that's the good thing, right? Like, I'm the best at it, but I can also make money out of it, so it's just a bonus. If you have to pick one. Money with the ego or the title? The title. Because what am I going to do with the title? I'll take the money. <laughs> <laughs> After good run in upper bracket, he eventually lost to OG after a tense drama between Fly and No Tail, which sent Sumail down to the lower bracket. GG is cold. What comebacks we have between these two teams in two back-to-back -back games? This time, Sumail finished in third position once again. Perhaps Sumail, feeling he is very skilled but has never won his second TI, pondered whether there was something wrong with him or if EG was the problem. Entering TI 2019. Sumail arrived with the hope of winning his second TI, but the reality was bitter. Sumail failed again and finished only in fifth position. Heroes, there is no more chances. Liquid, they win two For the first time, Sumail decided to leave the team that made his name. He attempted to join various teams, from small ones to giants like OG and Liquid in 2020, but the results were disappointing. Skipping to the year post-COVID in 2021, OG announced that the King would return to compete at TI 2021. We couldn't be more proud of our newest addition. Please welcome OG Sumail. Sumail! They're not hesitating. Trying to end this one. Team Spirit looking to go all together. There are racks that are being taken up on the top side of the map, but they've got their eyes on the prize. They want to save the Sprout, so walk inside of it. Oh my god, he's just going for the spider legs through. They get the vision. Oh, gee, there's nobody left alive. It's only no tail. There's nothing left, and GG is called. Sumail faced the same defeat once again. Undeterred, he ventured to join another team with the hope of winning his second TI. Sumail joined Team Secret and shortly after, Team Nigma, which comprised the former Liquid roster. Unfortunately, he encountered the same result. In 2023, Sumail was with the Chinese team, Team Aster, but the Emperor Sumail failed to qualify for TI 2023. Sumail was indeed a great young player when he first won TI. He was perceived as arrogant and overly self-confident, but all of that was part of Sumail's process of maturing into an adult. Sumail and all his achievements have solidified his status as one of the legends of Dota 2, to the extent that he was even featured in Time magazine, and Sumail is now a more humble individual. So it isn't all about him. Of course not. Competing is fun, dude. And that's the story of Sumail.